I know I said in my last video that I was going to give you a video in my series on cognitive abilities today, but I'm saving that one for later because today I want to talk about giftedness and OCD. I am gifted and have had OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, my whole adult life. In the past, I kept checking if my debit card was in my wallet, I kept checking if I had locked the door before I went to bed, and if I had locked the door before I went out, before I left the house. I had, I had extreme difficulty with closing MS Word documents. It could take me like 10 minutes. It could take me about 10 minutes to close down a, an MS Word document. And due to, due to my perfectionism and anxieties, I kept thinking intrusive thoughts over and over again. And let's go back to the case of my wallet and my debit card being in my wallet. I remember that I kept asking my husband if my debit card was really in my wallet. I even showed him. I showed him my debit card and it was, it was in my wallet. See what I kept asking my husband if it was really there? Just to get that external reassurance. Most of those things luckily don't bother me anymore, but still, my OCD is definitely not gone. When I leave my classroom, for instance, I keep checking if I have closed the windows, and after I pay my bills, I check, I keep checking if I have truly signed out of my online banking account, and because of, because I had, because I had a deep fear of flying, I kept thinking intrusive thoughts about having to fly. My hub and I live in a mid-sized town called Oz in the Netherlands, and we booked airline tickets to Atlanta, Georgia in March 2022. In April, May, and early June, I kept thinking intrusive thoughts about having to fly. I kept thinking negative thoughts about having to fly. I hated the prospect of having to fly and had anxiety attacks about having to fly. The fear consumed me. The negative thoughts just kept attacking me over and over again, every day, until I finally stepped on that airplane and then things just got so much better. Now I know I'm not the only gifted person with OCD. Many gifted people suffer from some form of obsessive compulsive disorder and that's why I want to ask these seven questions in the coming seven videos in this series. What is OCD? What's the difference between obsessing and just overthinking? What are OCD behaviors? What does OCD look like in a person? What triggers OCD? What's the root cause of it? And most important of all, what are treatments? So if you're gifted with OCD, if you are gifted with OCD, stay with me on my channel. Stay right here. Cause I have, I have a lot of interesting stuff in store for you. The first video, the first video is coming in two weeks. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll see you soon.